Hey, this is Presh Tollwalker. Here's a problem for second grade students that has adults stumped. Stretch your thinking. Brian has some boxes of paper clips. Some boxes hold 10 clips and some boxes hold 100. He has some paper clips left over. He has three more boxes with 100 paper clips than he has boxes with 10 paper clips. He has two fewer paper clips left over than he has number of boxes with 100 paper clips. What number of paper clips could he have? This problem circulated on Twitter and on Reddit, mildly infuriating. Pause the video if you'd like to give this problem a try. And when you're ready, keep watching to learn how to solve this problem. So this looks quite challenging, but let's go through it step by step. So Brian has some boxes of paper clips. Some boxes hold 10 clips. Let's write a variable for this. Let's say that T is the number of boxes of 10 clips, T for 10. Some boxes hold 100 clips. So let's write H to be the number of boxes for 100 clips, H being 100. He has some paper clips left over. Let L be the number of leftover clips. So how many leftover clips could he have? He could have one, he could have two, he could have three, he could have four, he could have five. He could have six, he could have seven, he could have eight, he could have nine. But what about 10? If there were 10 leftover paper clips, these could all be put into a box of 10 clips. So it's not possible that you could have 10 clips that are left over. We need the number of leftover clips to be less than 10. So the number of leftover clips has to be a whole number going from one to nine. This limits the number of possibilities we have to check. Now let's continue reading the problem. He has three more boxes with 100 paper clips, then he has boxes with 10 paper clips. So we need to translate this sentence into an equation, and this is a step that often confuses people. So let's think about it logically. He has three more boxes with 100 paper clips than he has with boxes with 10 paper clips. So the number of boxes with 100 paper clips has to be a larger number than the number of boxes with 10 paper clips by three. So the number of boxes with 100 paper clips, which is H, has to be the larger number. So H must be equal to T plus three. This guarantees that H is always three more than T. Now he has two fewer paper clips left over than he has numbers of boxes with 100 paper clips. Now in this case, it's going to be the opposite way of translating because we have two fewer paper clips. So we take the number of paper clips left over and we add two to get the number of boxes with 100 paper clips. So L plus two is equal to H. So finally, we need to calculate the number of paper clips he could have. This would be more than one answer, but let's just try to figure out a single answer. So the total number of paper clips will be equal to 100 times the number of boxes he has with 100 paper clips in each box. Then we need to add 10 plus the number of boxes that have 10 paper clips. And finally, we add over the leftover clips. So the total is equal to 100H plus 10T plus L. So now let's think about this total. This should exactly remind you of a three digit number where we have a hundreds column, a tens column, and a ones column. But in this place, they didn't say the ones column, they just said the number of leftover paper clips. But we could see that the ones column exactly corresponds to the number of leftover clips that are not contained in the hundreds boxes or the tens boxes, which would be the same thing that it's not in the hundreds column or the tens column. So now we have a systematic way to think about this problem. 
Let's just go through a single answer first. So we'll start out with the number of leftover clips, which we know has to be a whole number from one to nine. So let's just start out with L is equal to one. From there, we know that L plus two is equal to H. So we add two to one to get that H is equal to three. Now we know that H is equal to T plus three. So if H is equal to three, then T plus three has to be equal to three. The only way that's possible is if T is equal to zero. So we have one possible answer. H is equal to three, T is equal to zero, and O, which is L, is equal to one. And right away, we figured out a number just looking at the place values. The number has to be 301, and that will be the total. And I think this problem is very interesting because it shows the importance of the place value system. You wouldn't be able to do this with Roman numerals. It is really the genius of the method that came from India and then went through the Arabic world that went to Europe that we can just translate these numbers right into a quantity of a total. So one possible answer is 301 paper clips. And 301 corresponds to having one leftover paper clip, three boxes of 100 clips, and zero boxes of 10 clips. Now, some people may say he has some boxes of 10s and some boxes of 100s. You couldn't have zero as a number. I see nothing in the problem that excludes having zero as a number. So I'll say 301 is an answer. But if you don't want to agree with this answer, let's figure out all the other possible answers. Now, there are other possibilities for the number of leftover clips. Let's say that L is equal to 2. Now, this would also correspond to a three-digit number. So this will be a ones column with 2. Then we have L plus 2 is equal to H. So we add 2 to get to the hundreds column, which will be the number 4. 2 plus 2 is equal to 4. Then we have H is equal to T plus 3. So if we subtract 3 from the hundreds column, we get 1. So right away, we've gotten another possible answer, 412. So the total number of paper clips will be 412. This will be the case where we have two leftover paper clips. We have one box of 10 paper clips, and we have four boxes of 100 paper clips. But we're not done yet. Let's see if there's a pattern when we went from one leftover paper clip to two leftover paper clips. So we'll notice in the ones column, we increase the total by one. What happened in the hundreds and tens column? We'll notice that we increase the tens column by one and we increase the hundreds column by one as well. So let's see what happens when we go to L is equal to three. We have another three digit number. We're going to increase the ones column by one. Then what would happen if we do the same thing in the tens and the hundreds column? So we increase the tens column by one, so one plus one is equal to two, and we increase the hundreds column by one, so four plus one is equal to five. So we have two here and five here, and we have another answer of 523. So this is another total number of paper clips we could have. The number of hundreds boxes would be five, the number of tens boxes would be two, and the number of ones boxes, or the leftover boxes, would be three. So let's go ahead and just continue. We don't even need to think about it. We're going to add one to each of these columns. So if we have L is equal to four, we're going to add to each of these columns the number one, which is equivalent to adding the number 111. So 523 plus 111 gives the next answer of 634. Now if L is equal to five, we add 111 again, so we get another answer of 745. Now let's continue this until we have all possible answers. We know that the number of leftover clips can go from one to nine. We've only gone to five so far. So if we add 111, we get 856. Then adding 111 again gives 967. Now what would happen if we add 111? We get 1,078. This corresponds to having 10 boxes where we have 100 clips in each box. Then we have seven boxes of 10 clips in each box, and we have eight leftover boxes. So this is more than a three-digit number, 
but it would still satisfy the conditions of the question. We add 111 again, and we get 1189. 11 boxes of 100, 8 boxes of 10, and 9 leftover clips. And now we've gotten to 9 in the leftover column, so that's the maximum number we could have because if we went to 10 clips, we would put that in another box of 10s, so we can't have any more. So these are all the answers. There are nine answers to this question. 301, 412, 523, 634, 745, 856, 967, 1078, and 1189. What an interesting question. Thanks for making us one of the best communities on YouTube. See you next episode of Mind Your Decisions, where we solve the world's problems, one video at a time.